Website pop-ups are a powerful tool for grabbing attention, promoting offers, and collecting leads. Pop-ups are one of the most effective ways to engage your visitors at exactly the right moment. In this video, I'll show you how to design pop-ups with Elementor Pro that deliver the exact right message at the exact right time. We'll include features like countdown timers to create urgency and forms to collect leads. We'll also go over smart conditions and triggers so your pop-ups only appear when they're most likely to convert. Like when someone's about to leave your site or after they've already spent some time scrolling. If you don't already have Elementor Pro, make sure to check my description for a link. Let's get started. To get to the Elementor pop-up builder, first sign into your WordPress site and then under Elementor, go to templates and then pop-ups. And then you can click this button right here to add a new pop-up. And then for template type, you wanna keep that at pop-up and then give it a name. I'm gonna call mine email pop-up and then click create template. Now you can pick a pop-up template here, which is a great way to get started really quick, but I'm gonna show you how to create one from scratch. But this is an option for you and it's a good option also. But we're gonna close out of this. And now this is our pop-up. If you wanna change the size of this or any other settings, you can go to settings. And then from here, you could change the width and the height if you'd like. You can also change the position of where this is in the screen. So right now everything is centered, but if you wanted to move it to the sides or the top or bottom, you could do that here. You could set if you wanna show an overlay, which is the thing that goes over the actual page. You can turn off the close button, but you probably shouldn't do that ever. You can set entrance and exit animations if you'd like. And then you also have some general settings here and some preview settings. And then if you wanted to change the style of the pop-up, you can change the background here. You could change the color or the background image of the overlay here. And you can change the style of the close button here. And then we also have some advanced settings here as well. Now let's design this pop-up and you can design this just like you design any other Elementor page with the widgets. So go ahead and click these boxes right here to get back to your widget area. And the first thing I'm gonna do is throw a headline in there. And then I'm gonna just make this say, enter your email address. And now if you see everything is going all the way to the edge, so you probably also want to give this some padding. So I'm going to select that container and then go to advanced and I'm just gonna put 50 pixels all the way around. And obviously if we're trying to collect email addresses here, we need a form. So you're gonna wanna stick in your form widget. So I'm going to just go ahead and use the Elementor form for this tutorial, but of course you can use any other form widget you're using on your website. And for pop-ups, you don't wanna ask them to do too many things, so I would take off the message field right there. So right now we have the email pop-up, but I did promise you a countdown. So to do that, go back into widgets and search for count, and it will show you countdown right here. So go ahead and drag that in. And we can't see this because it looks like my text is white. So I'm gonna come in here and just give that another color very quickly, just so we can see it. And now when you go back into the content, you can make this due date whenever your sale is ending. So you can tell people like, hey, hurry up and buy now before our sale is over. Using a countdown is especially really great if you wanted to do like a cart abandonment pop-up. Like if someone is leaving the cart page, you can be like, hey, just there's a sale and you don't wanna miss the sale, so make sure to check out. So let me show you how you would do that. Go down to this little arrow next to publish and click that to get to save options. And then you're going to want to set display conditions. And then we wanna click add condition. Now this is where you would include or exclude which pages you want the pop-up to show up on. So if you wanted this only on the cart page, you would choose the cart page here. Now I don't have WooCommerce installed on the site, so it's possible that when you do, you have an option to only show it on the cart page. But since I don't have that here, I'm just gonna show you how to do it on one page for my website. So I'm gonna choose singular 
and I'm going to choose pages and I'm just going to pick a random page I have on my site so we can see that the pop-up only shows up on that page. Next, let's choose triggers here on the left-hand side. And this is where you can decide what makes the pop-up show up. Personally, I don't like doing it on page load because I feel like that annoys people a lot. I feel like it also annoys people on the scroll, but if you want to get their attention, that's a great way to do it. You can also set it to scroll when it gets to an element and you would have to put the class of that element here. This can be useful if like in the blog post you have a call to action and then you want when they get to that call to action to have the pop-up come up. You can also set the pop-up to come up on click after a certain amount of time of inactivity or my favorite is to do it on page exit intent. So that is when people are starting to leave the page. I feel like that is the least annoying one and I feel like that is the one that messes with the user experience the least. Because remember, we do not want to annoy our website visitors. Obviously, we want them to become our customers, but we don't want to annoy them. Also, Google hates pages with a bad user experience and the pop-ups once you load your site can make a bad user experience. So it could also potentially hurt your search engine optimization. Next, let's go into advanced rules. And this is where you can even more make sure that you're only showing this pop-up at the right time to the right people, which will make it more likely to have you hit your goals and less likely to annoy your customers. So you can show the pop-up after a certain amount of page views, after a certain amount of sessions. You can show how many times you want the pop-up to show up. For me, I really only want the pop-up to show up one time. And then I'll keep this at persisting and I'll keep this on open. You can have it only when they're arriving from a specific URL. You could have it show when they're arriving from search engines, external links or internal links. You can choose to hide it for logged in users, which I'm also going to choose. You can decide what devices you want it to show up on and which browsers you want it to show up on. And you can also schedule a date and time, which again is gonna be really great for sales and promoting offers. When you're all done with this, go ahead and click save and close. And your pop-up has been published and is now live. So you can click this to have a look, but it's possible this isn't even gonna show up for me because I'm logged in. So what I'm gonna do here to test it and what I always like to do when I'm testing things is test in an incognito browser. So here I am on my incognito browser, so I am not logged in and then I am going to go to that page where the pop-up should be. So that was this page that I set. And again, we are set it for exit intent so it should be when people try to leave this page. So let's try to leave this page and then the pop-up came up. So there you go. Now you know how to make pop-ups for your website with Elementor Pro. And now you can promote offers and collect leads from these pop-ups. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check out my description for your free download of the nine step roadmap to DIY your first website, which will take you through everything you need to know to get your website live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.